of the human anatomy series and today the topic of my discussion will be about the myelin sheath so students as you all uh, must be very familiar that uh, the exons the neurons and the cell body the neuron is composed of the cell body of or the cyton and it is and the extending from the cyton it is the exon so students there are basically two types of neurons one is the the myelinated and the other one is the non myelinated so today's topic of my discussion will be about the myelin sheath of the myelinated neurons so students it becomes very difficult and cumbersome to remember particularly in the various pg entrance and the neat entrance exams where we are asked about the mcqs as to from where the myelin sheath of the central myelin sheath of the myelinated nerve fibers it is derived from what cells so today is the topic the myelin sheath discussion i'll be focusing upon the mnemonic as to how we can very easily make out about the myelin sheath which is derived from what types of the neuro uh, in the central nervous system and in the peripheral nervous system the myelin sheath is derived from what cells so students the mnemonic or the short trick what i have made just to very easily remember about the uh, myelin sheath cells what are derived from the uh, in the central nervous system and in the peripheral nerves the myelin sheath which uh, is derived from what type of cells the mnemonic what i have made is the cops so students do remember the word cops c o p s so cops are usually the policemen all right so just by remembering the mnemonic cops we can very easily make out as to what is uh, how the myelin sheath from what cells is the myelin sheath is derived in cases of the exons of the central nervous system and in the exons of the peripheral nerves so students the myelin sheath are the uh, the myelin sheath is derived in most cases if it is the central nervous system so central nervous system is basically comprising of the brain and the spinal cord so students the central nervous system basically comprises of the brain and the spinal cord and whatever the neurons of the central nervous system are there the myelinated neurons those exons are surrounded by a myelin sheath and that myelin sheath in case if it is the central nervous system they are derived from the oligodendrocytes the cells from what they are derived it is the oligodendrocytes so students the c is referring to cops of the word cops the c is going to refer to the oligodendrocytes so the half of the mnemonic i have covered moving on when we talk of the peripheral nerves so the peripheral nerves what are myelinated the myelin sheath what is going to cover in if it is in the case of the peripheral nerves they are formed by the schwann cells so students the peripheral nerve the p of the peripheral and s of the schwann cells so this is another mnemonic that is the c of the central nervous system and the o of the oligodendrocytes one co and the p of the peripheral nerves and s of the schwann cells so this is the how we can very easily remember as to how the myelin sheath what is there in the central nervous system it is derived from the oligodendrocyte cells it is formed by the oligodendrocyte cells whereas the exons what is covering the myelin sheath what is found in the exons of the peripheral nerves they are formed by the schwann cells so students this is the mnemonic that is cops that is in the case of the central nervous system the myelin sheath is being derived from the oligodendrocyte cells and if it is in the case of the peripheral nerves in the case of the peripheral nerves the myelin sheath is derived from the schwann cells so students this was a short discussion about the very frequently asked questions and the most important mcqs in the various P neat pg entrance exams so students this was a short discussion and students if you do like my video don't forget to subscribe my channel and do press the bell icon so that you can be further updated about my newer videos thank you for watching